why is there no bullet train in India yet? Guys, the world's first bullet train, Tokaido Shinkansen, was started in Japan only in 1964. It has been almost 57 years since the introduction of the bullet train in the world. But for resilience, the bullet train is still like an alien technology. Why is it so? Why technology which was developed in Japan 57 years ago has not reached India till date? After all, what are the reasons due to which there is no bullet train in India even today? So let's know about some such reasons in today's video, knowing which you will also understand why there is no bullet train in India yet. A simple answer to this is that the governments of a country have never wanted to. There can be many reasons behind never wanting the bullet train, but here we do not have to debate. So leaving those arguments behind, we return to the actual reasons. Bullet train has been running in Japan since 1964, but it is not that the engineers of Japan had their eyes open one morning, they thought of making a bullet train and they could have made it in a few days. No, not at all. Engineers don't have any magic wand. Yes, yes it is true that a thought turns something into a reality, but when it comes to technology, it takes years and years and years to turn a thought into reality. And money has to be spent like water. So when the engineers of Japan saw the dream of bullet train, then research and development centers were started to make it a reality. All their needs were met, huge amount of money was spent in these works, and they were also given full time. Then the world saw the bullet train for the first time in 1964. This technology of bullet train has been continuously improving since 1964. And today, the example of Japanese railway is given all over the world. Now we return to our country. Indian Railways is the fourth largest railway network in the world. Every day, about 20 million passengers travel by train in India. Yet, Indian Railways is always at a loss financially. Of course, in the last few years, Railways has been able to earn profit. But this profit is like cumin in the mouth of a camel. It is difficult to run the railways with the existing technology for the loss-making railways. So, it is difficult to even imagine a new technology like bullet train in India. Indian Railways also has a research and development organization named Research Design and Standards Organization. But it does not get enough funds to develop technology like bullet train. When an organization cannot manage this existing technology properly, then it is also meaningless to expect advanced technology from it. Although, it would be wrong to put all the blame on Indian Railways, it is also not wise to spend billions on the development of new technology when the railways is already in loss. Bullet train being very expensive is also one of the reasons that there is no bullet train in India yet. Bullet trains are not 2 or 3 times more expensive than standard train, but 10 to 15 times more expensive. 100 to 140 crore rupees are spent per kilometer in the construction of bullet train corridor. Meaning, with that kind of money, 10 to 15 new standard trains can be run. Only one bullet train can be run in that amount. The rush of passengers in Indian trains is not hidden from anyone. Especially on the occasion of festivals, months in advance, there is a huge crowd in the train. In such a situation, if the railways has money, then instead of one bullet train, 15 standard trains will be run. Bullet train requires advanced maintenance system. For this, a special track is made. Strong material is used in the construction of bullet train tracks as compared to normal tracks. Instead of using bolts to join the lines to the track, it is joined together by welding and it requires regular welding. All other parts of this train also require regular maintenance. Parts are replaced in case of slightest defect. Overall, bullet train requires a lot of maintenance, due to which a lot of money has to be spent on maintenance. Many times, many trains pass through broken tracks here. But in the case of bullet trains, it needs a perfect track. Employees have to be ready in their work at all times. Due to the need for such maintenance, the bullet train can become a life-threatening situation for our system. Maybe this can also be a reason that a country does not have a bullet train yet. The more money that is spent in the manufacture of a thing, the more expensive it proves to be used. About 1 billion rupees will be spent per kilometer in the construction of bullet train. So its fare is gonna be high. Due to the high fare, it will be out of reach of the common people. And only people with money will be able to travel it. The bullet train fare will be almost the same as the flight fare. In such a situation, people who have the status to travel by bullet train they will also prefer to travel by flight instead of bullet train. The result will be that the bullet train will prove to be a loss-making deal. Considering all these things, no government tried to introduce bullet train in India before. Another reason for not having a bullet train is that India is a developing nation. Being a developing nation, India has a separate priority of its own. And no government has thought it better to include a bullet train in this priority. 
If we look back 15 to 20 years, India had many other challenges. In such situations, an expensive project like bullet train seems like an extra burden on the country's economy. But now in the last 10 to 15 years, the economy of the country has improved a lot and the condition of the people of the country has also improved. In the midst of these changing circumstances, discussions of bullet trains started in the country. And then in the 2014 elections, the BJP promised to bring a bullet train in the country. Keeping this promise, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also announced to run a bullet train between Ahmedabad and Mumbai. Work on this project is also started, but nothing can be said about when this project will be completed. On paper, the timeline for its completion is December 2023. But according to a report in the Indian Express, our dream of travelling in a bullet train can go further by 5 years. According to the report, the expectation of completion of this project before October 2028 is almost negligible. It doesn't matter if the bullet train is going to complete in 2023 or 2028. But whenever it is completed, then it will be called as Pride of India. But the bitter truth is that this Indian bullet train will be almost made in Japan. The loan for its construction has been taken from Japan. The responsibility of the construction work is on the Japanese companies. This technology will also be from Japan. And most of the materials for the manufacture of bullet train will also come from Japan. Now here's a question. Why are we completely dependent on Japan? Couldn't our engineers develop this technology in their own country? Well, we have no doubt about the ability of a country's promising engineers. But now, if the government decides to develop in its own country instead of buying technology from Japan, then it could have proved to be a loss-making deal for us. To develop bullet train technology in the country, first the government had to invest crores of rupees to set up an R&D center. Then for faster results, we also had to call in experts from China and Japan to work with our engineers. Despite all this, it would take at least 5 years for the technology to be fully developed. After this, we also had to start many new factories to manufacture the things necessary for the manufacture of bullet train. To work in these factories, we also have to call skilled workers from other countries or else we would have to prepare our workers. So much money and time would have been spent in all these things in which many standard trains can be run. Therefore, it was wise to buy technology from Japan and call Japanese companies and get the bullet train built. Our engineers were involved in the construction of the first bullet train along with Japanese companies. During this time, our engineers will be learning many new things. Then it is possible that when the construction of the first bullet train in the country is completed, then our dependency on Japan for the construction of the next bullet train will be a little less. So, what do you think guys? Do you think the bullet train is right for India or not? Do speak out your thoughts in the comment section. If you like the video, then like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.